Hi people, this is your girl Beth at Ikea Asari. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, please click on the subscribe button and let's do this. So welcome to my page if you haven't been here before. What I do is to bring you information. If you, what I do is to bring information to international students in the United States and those who are looking forward to coming to the United States. So have you subscribed and let's do this. Um, I've been receiving a lot of emails um, people sending me a lot of emails concerning the confused if it's the right time for them to come pursue the masters and what kind of programs actually should they choose they are pretty confused so today I am here for you to give you a brief information and I know it will be super helpful after watching just share it with your friends and let's keep the information ongoing I know you are confused especially amidst this COVID-19 crisis so some of you have actually relaxed you started an application and you've stopped and you've closed the windows you've closed your browser why don't you go back to that application and start all over why don't you go back to the application and complete it because actually this is the right time for you to get admission yeah this is the right time for you to apply this is the right time for you to look out for funding this is actually the right time for you i know that's why i'm saying this it's, there is no such a bad time take advantage of this because a lot of people are relaxing so do not relax apply even if you apply okay and you don't you're not ready to come you can actually defer the program and you can come next year right so please apply you can apply for fall next year fall or you can apply for next year spring and it's possible try it and let's do it okay try and apply the other thing i want to share with you is are you looking forward to pursue any uh, are you looking forward to pursue your masters or undergrads and you're confused okay so here is the information i have for you you are confused about the program that you want to pursue right so in the united states um they actually give more attention or they are so keen on some relevant courses okay and these courses are what I'm about to mention them to you these are called the STEM courses the science the STEM program if you don't know is the science technology engineering and mathematics I guess so science technology so science technology science so science is basically all the science courses chemistry biology physics and all that and you know once these kind of courses actually attract a higher pay and higher salary we'll talk about that later on but for now i just want you to know some of the stem courses are the science programs or the phases of the biology blah 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 then the technology courses so it is what is running in the united states like everything is it so if you pursue any program in it trust me you are good to go and they are also well paid which i'll talk about it later on but what i want to tell you that those are also great courses so the ms in computer science ms in all the computer system mis project management all those great courses in computer science you want all information technology you want to go deep and look for courses that are in that field that is if your interest is also in the technology and if you're interested in engineering that is also great because it falls within the stem program right and then mathematics all the statistics you name them so these are called stem courses and the good thing about these stem courses is that so unlike maybe if you pursue an ma program like my program you get a one-year opt the opt is called the optional practical training okay so this optional practical training allows you to work after school so usually when they give you the visa okay so when they give you a visa and you're coming to pursue your masters for two years after the two years your visa expires so what they do is that they give you what we call the optional practical training and like i said with the masters of arts in communication public administration international relations or the ma courses usually kind of you get one year opt so after school when you get a job you you are supposed to work in a company for one year and then you can return the good thing about the stem program is that you get a three-year opt so after your one year now the only clause is that after the one year your company is supposed to maybe write to the school or you're supposed to get an offer that says that you have a full year employment so with the opt after you complete your school okay the opt for the one year you can do any voluntary work you can do an unpaid work and all that but for the remaining two years that is the remaining 24 months you're supposed 
pause to get a full-time job a job that is linked to your program of study okay so for stem it is great because you actually after the one year you actually have another 24 months and who knows because once you're working in the company and you're proving yourself you can actually they can actually do your h1b for you the h1b is um the company trying to file for you to work more than the three years like get a job and work and get paid travel around move to wherever you want to do okay because you know when you're doing your stem or when you're doing your optional practical training you cannot be you can't go back to your country maybe you can go but when you're coming it'll be a little bit tough so you would want to stay within the country so that you, within the united states so that um you can finish your OPT so that's why I came to let you know it's good I know that not all of us have the head for STEM okay but if you can do it please do it because it's good and I mean it's equally like the same fees so why don't you give it a shot and the other thing is also the health program so all the public health the global health all the health health that the science program like I said it has a lot of jobs so you would want to look at that and it's a stem program so if you don't know stem just type stem courses stem courses in the united states just do that even if you're doing mba most mbas are not stem programs so you would want to maybe do maybe mba so some some schools have mba combination so you, you do maybe mba and you concentrate in data analytics or you concentrate in management information system okay and you can do that and that that will give you stem i know of other schools that actually give stem for specific mba programs okay yes other option is for the computer science people or those who are doing the information technology program is that you know here it's mostly about certification so after everything to so all nurses after after your nursing degree they write they write they take a board exam after that you pass and you are a certified nurse okay so for the computer science programs they do these kinds of certification programs i know if you're a computer science girl, you should know about it by now if you know then once you start pursuing your masters or your undergrad in that I, the best thing for you is to try and explore and be writing the certification program so once you have the certification program and you have your certified it guru you have your masters you have, or have your undergrad Getting a job here, it's super easy if you're in the IT field, okay? So you would want to look at that. And for those of us who are still interested in doing the communication and other programs, hey, it's it's not like it's a bad course. It's also a great course, but make sure that you are doing an exceptional thing because you know it's a, um, a lot of people are doing the same course. So what makes you stand out on your resume, maybe after pursuing your master's or your undergrad, what will make you stand out for the company to hire you or for the company would um, or for the company want or for the company to do an h1b for you what you can also do is that whilst you're in school and you're doing your communication you're doing your public administration you can take some short short online courses you can take some short short certification courses you can also do a lot of internship and voluntary work to upskill your resume because it's very easy for you to get a job once you have a us experience so once you step your foot here the other thing is for you to start looking for job like voluntary because if you are an s1 student you only get the chance to work 20 hours on campus 20 hours on campus not 40 hours we'll talk about that later when i talk about that again my name is Bertha thank you very much for subscribing to my youtube channel god bless you